Hi everyone, my name is Cassie and welcome to my channel, Bookish Four Eyes. I figured we're halfway through April now and it was a good time to look at some books that are coming out in the next couple of months that sound really fun and exciting. Most of these books are by authors I've read before, so this is their second book or maybe their, I don't know, 30th book, but let's get right to it. The very first book um, is called The Favorite Sister by Jessica Knoll and that comes out on May 15th. If you remember Jessica Knoll's previous book, it's called The Luckiest Girl Alive, and I read that book a couple of years back. I know it was a very popular read and a lot of people compared it to um, Gone Girl and books like that. I don't remember enjoying it quite that much, and I think I gave it 3 out of 5 stars, but I'm willing to give her book another chance, and hopefully this one will be an interesting read. Basically. The gist of this book is that it takes place on like a game show, like Big Brother or something along those lines, and there's different characters on the show, and somehow that whole show ends up in someone getting murdered. So there you have it. Sounds like it could be interesting, so I'm looking forward to giving that one a read. The next book is called The Outsider by Stephen King, and this comes out on May 22nd. I've read a whole lot of books by Stephen King and I haven't really been disappointed yet. My last book that I read is called It, which I read last fall and I quite liked. And this one sounds very interesting and knowing Stephen King, I don't think it will be a disappointing read. Basically this is about a town, I guess, and um, a little boy gets murdered and as the investigation goes on, people realize that someone who's very well liked in the community seems to have done it and the police have a lot of evidence and fingerprints and they're pretty sure that it's this guy so what's left for us to figure out is whether he did it or not and what actually happened there I'm really looking forward to reading this one, it sounds very promising the next book is called The Death of Mrs. Westway by Ruth Ware, and this one comes out on May 29th. One book that I've read by Ruth Ware previously is called The Woman in Cabin 10. I liked that book, and I thought the setting was interesting and the whole plot was interesting. I don't think I gave it 5 stars, but still it was a decent read. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one goes. I know she's written other books since The Woman in Cabin 10, but I, for some reason I just haven't come across them and I haven't read them, but I'm definitely willing to give this one a read. It sounds really interesting. Basically, a person, like the main character, receives a notice that their relative has died and they have come into some inheritance when the character goes to the funeral home to get all that sorted out. It turns out that something very sketchy is going on. So, sounds like an interesting storyline and I think it'll be a good read. The next book that I'm excited to read is called The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This one comes out on July 10th. If you remember Riley Sager's other book, it's called Final Girls. I read that last year and... last year or this year? I can't remember anymore, but that was a pretty good read and as far as thrillers go, so I think this one will be really interesting as well. It starts with a group of young girls who are at a camp and they're playing games and then something happens and then many years later one of those girls lives in um, New York City and she's an artist and she draws um, paintings or she does art that's related to kind of outdoorsy nature, camping type scenes and she's approached by uh, like a socialite who is involved with the camp and she also invites the main character Emma out to that camp to teach art to some kids and when Emma goes back to that camp she discover some sinister things that are going on and things aren't what they seem and basically everything that I like in a book is seems to be happening in this one so I'm looking forward to reading this one. It sounds like a pretty dark read. The next book that I'm looking forward to reading is called Her Pretty Face by Robin Harding and this also comes out on July 10th. Basically this book is about a lady named Frances who is a stay-at-home mom and she goes, she takes her child to school and she doesn't really get along with a lot of the mothers who are there because they're very snobby and they just aren't interested in making friends with her. However, one person seems to be very keen to become friends with her. This person's name is Kate and she's very popular and rich and successful and Frances isn't really sure why Kate's trying to be friends with her, but she's just gonna go with it. 
<laughs> there is a twist though because one of those ladies is not who they say they are because one of them is a murderer <laughs> how's that for a twist so we have to figure out who the murderer is what happened and all of that sort of thing i think i think this sounds very appealing and i'm definitely willing to explore this book further the next book is called cross her heart by sarah pinborough and this comes out on september 4th if you remember another book that I read from Sarah Pinborough is called Behind Her Eyes and I gave the book 5 out of 5 stars because it was a pretty incredible read. So I'm really excited to see what she does with this book. This is another one where it's about a single mother who has a daughter, who's a teenage daughter, and she's very overprotective and um, all her daughter wants to do is just live a normal life, have a boyfriend, hang out with friends and all that sort of thing, but her mom just will not do that and she just is worried about her child and she's very protective. There's also mother's best friend, Marilyn, who promised to help no matter what, but apparently the mother has done something and they're maybe not on the best of terms, so something like that is happening and I'm really excited to read it because her first book was awesome. I couldn't put it down and the ending was crazy so I can only imagine what this one's going to be like. This next book is called Katerina by James Frey and this comes out on September 11th. I've read pretty much all of James Frey's books except for his like fantasy series or I think that's what they were but I really liked A Million Little Pieces. I really liked my friend Leonard. So this one I'm incredibly excited for. And I know <laughs> there's a bunch of controversy about his books. Um, if you're interested, there is a South Park episode about it, which is pretty funny. But this one, I guess, is a work of fiction, so there shouldn't be any drama there. I guess this is a love story that spans from Paris in 1995 to Los Angeles in 2018, so it spans a few years and I tend to like books like that because they just take you on a journey and you kind of get lost in it and just completely forget what's happening around you. I, I really like his writing. I think this will be a great read, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. And of course, an honorable mention, Providence by Carolyn Kepnes, which comes out on June 19th. So close, I can't wait to read it. Um, I've talked about this before, but I couldn't make a list of the books I was really excited for without mentioning this one even briefly, because it's, it's going to be a great read, I can tell. So that's it for my exciting book releases in the upcoming months. Please let me know if you're excited for any of these books, and also please let me know which books you're excited to read in the near future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.